in the states we say bathroom right when we have to use the bathroom the toilet yeah. but here you actually say toilet well maybe because it translates directly from french toilette we find it kind of like not very healthy to have the toilet seat in the bathroom <laughs> You clean yourself in the bathroom, so we have a separate room for it. What is this area here? Luxembourg Palace and the Luxembourg Garden, the most beautiful park in the center of Paris. Marcus Ward's visions. Paris through my eyes. Here I am on my balcony. I don't know if you can see that over there, but I see somebody actually moving something into the window. I was informed that they don't really have many homes here, just a lot of apartments because of spacing. But you don't have houses here? No, because we don't have space for this. We have only about 300 houses in all of Paris. It's only 300. So a lot of people move their furniture, refrigerator, things like that through their windows. So tell me why I'm in the supermarket and it looks just like our supermarket in the States. Look. Let's see how much of the baby wipes. Okay. Just as expensive in the States. Don't have no babies if you can't afford them. You know, a French man once told me that Coca-Cola is more expensive here than a glass of wine. And I'm starting to believe him. I mean, look. Oh, they got Uncle Ben's here? Oh, I'm real excited. Now, look, they got Uncle Ben's. They got the spaghetti. Oh, they got everything we got. Look at that. Doritos. Oh, snap. Okay, so what I find most interesting is that, look, you have, I don't know what this is, I guess you call it a portable toilet, and literally you just go right in and you use the bathroom. step outside the bathroom the bathroom actually closes you have to close it yourself and literally it cleans itself so what do we have to do we have to like I couldn't figure out how to get out I thought the lights were gonna turn off now it's cleaning itself and here it actually cleans how cool is that so I'm here at Notre Dame and I mean just exquisite, exquisitely beautiful this place is. No, you gotta film it this way. It ain't gonna work that way. You can't see nothing. I'm here at Notre Dame. You gotta get in front of me if you wanna be in the camera. I wonder who built this, how long it took. It took a hundred years. It did. It took like five. Yeah, it took like it took years. Five hundred years? No, not five hundred years. Come on. A hundred? Maybe like thirty. Thirty years? I think. No. He told us yesterday. That. He told us yesterday. I wasn't paying attention. Clearly. Well, I told you yesterday. How you doing? Here you go. Stop. <laughs> oh my God. I saw her yesterday. You think I can take a picture? Of her? No, don't do that. That's inappropriate. She's nice. She's asking for money. She don't like just like that other man. She's asking for money. That's what that cup's for. What is wrong with you? I thought it was praying. No, she ain't praying. She's definitely not. Is it with this? She's asking for money. Yeah. Why the cup is empty? Cause ain't nobody give her no money. Why? Or she took it out and put it back in her pocket. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. Like I'll take out five student loans just to live here. Well, you can't live in a church, so. Oh, this is a church? Oh my god. You don't know any history. It's insulting. They're making out. 
<laughs> They're actually making out. Somebody getting pregnant tonight. <laughs> when you live in Paris, it's a jungle. Look at the people just dancing. Just enjoying life. They wave to us here. But what's so striking to me is that the people are so close to the water. I mean, listen, I don't even use a lighter in my house, all right? Ask anybody that knows me. I do not even light a birthday cake. I call them savages and beats you to, to survive. It's like a speedy, speedy place and uh -huh. you need to be, to be careful. But we have the best monuments ever. Hey man, is this a castle? Military. It was a military office. Oh, this is a military office? All right, I may sign up then, <laughs> just to get in here. And this is, I guess, what's considered a black neighborhood. And it is, I mean, look at it. It is almost like little Africa around here. I, I didn't expect to see as many black people here. Like, I feel at home. You know, I feel like, I mean, you have a lot of stores that sells a lot of African clothing. Bonjour. Bonjour. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Listen, <laughs> they look at it like I'm crazy. <laughs> look, my cameraman is laughing at me. Bonjour. <laughs> what is this called? Montmartre. Montmartre. Actually, just cameraman. Just get a shot of that. Look at that. Bonjour. Bonjour. That's the only word I know here. It's very peaceful here. The people, I would say, just from my recollection, they're very not rude, but very reserved to themselves. To my surprise, Paris is actually extremely diverse. I've seen so many black people. I'm like, wait, am I in Brooklyn or Paris? But I've seen Chinese, I've seen Indian, I've seen so many mixtures of people here. The food is awesome. I'm sitting here eating some miso soup. So good. And just great, beautiful architecture. You know, beautiful architecture. I hope you enjoy Paris Through My Eyes. Don't forget, share and subscribe.